Okay, so my name is Holly Nelson. I am the owner of an MMA Fight League, and I'm the only female owner of an MMA Fight League in America that features both male and female athletes. We are a feeder league for UFC, PFL, that now acquired Bellator and one fighting championship. Um, I acquired the league, it's a regional promotion, about um, a year and a half ago. It was in business for about 10 years, and um, navigating the business of MMA has been probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But by trade, I'm actually a behavioral scientist, so what I'm really trying to do is bring uh, the destigmatization of mental health to men, uh, to men and, and the, the male demographic, and that's kind of how this came to be. I sponsored a regional promotion, and then the guy was like, hey, I'm planning to retire, would you like to buy the league? And I was like, I guess I'm buying a fight league, and that's kind of how it came to be. And so now, coming up on 2024, what are your plans coming up, and are you going to be like... Oh, I'm so happy, yeah. I have so many plans. Um, so we're doing like a full rebrand, and um, it's called TWC, and what we're doing is we're negotiating a four-fight series with the Hard Rock Hollywood in Fort Lauderdale. I'm expanding the league, which was based in Lansing, Michigan, to uh, Fort Lauderdale, which is about an hour away from where I live, which is West Palm Beach. Um, I'm trying to bring it to Florida, and uh, there's not a big you know, presence there, so I figured I'd just join the regional promotion scene and kind of uh, create a good brand awareness for um, a good, you know, I would say Division II type of MMA. Now, going um, a little bit more on expanding on your brand, because you're a woman, are you going to bring in what uh, women want? Are there yeah. extra weight classes? Is that going to be part of it? Yes, absolutely. And in fact, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm making a call for female matchmakers specifically. Not just female athletes. I want more female matchmakers in the mix. Um, I even had a female uh, uh, ring announcer at my last event specifically. I pulled her in. Um, and I had the only female matchmaker in the Midwest. 